Welcome to Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Let's provide an answer to this question on the polygons and the plane geometry one. So the ratio of the interior angle to the exterior angle of a polygon is given as what? 5 is to 2. We are to find the number of sides of the polygon. So in this, we are dealing with interior angle and exterior angle. But in each of them, the value is not given to us. That is the size of the interior angle is not given. That of the exterior is not given. Only the ratio into which they have been shared. We know that interior angle plus its corresponding exterior angle give us a sum of 4, 180. So that simply means that the proportion of the angles that are be added to give us 180 is just 5 is to what? 2. Meaning if the 180 is divided into 7 parts, total 5 plus 2, 7 parts, 5 parts goes into the interior, whilst 2 parts goes for exterior. That is the meaning. So we can use that approach in solving it. Or we can also just use the interior angle. How do we find the interior angle? We know that interior angle is n minus 2. This is the interior angle. So this interior angle, we say ratio, meaning the interior angle is 2. The exterior angle, we also have a formula to be 360 over n. So this is corresponding to 5 as the ratio state and this is also corresponding to what? 2. In, in that case, we can see that if you are given a ratio as in A is to B, this can also be written as A over B, right? So we can do the same, converting this into division. Meaning we can have, so in this case, if this is division, we can also turn this to, we can flip this fraction and turn this to multiplication. Meaning here I'll be having this. We flip the fraction, meaning the n goes up, then our 360 come down, all equals to 5 over 2. So seeing this is multiplication, anything from the numerator can cancel anything from the denominator in the second fraction. Then the numerator from the second fraction can also cancel the denominator here since they are multiplying. So this will cancel this. 180 is multiplying this. So if imagine this is just 2, it will have been 360 divided by 360. So since they are multiplying, this can also cancel this. If this bracket were not to be there, if it would be n minus 2 plus or minus 180, then we cannot cancel. So this will take care of this to be 2. So in our numerator, we are only left with n minus 2. See, it is multiplying 1, 1. So we have that. This is going to be 1. Then we have what? 2. This is equals to our right hand side. So do you see that this becomes just a simple equation involving fraction? We can cross multiply in order to collect a fraction. So the numerator here multiplying this. Then our denominator also multiply this to give us what? 10. So I believe we can expand this bracket to have 2 times n. 2 times 2 will give us 4 equals to what? 10. Alright, what do we need? We are looking for n. So anything attached goes that side. So 2n originally minus it becomes positive. So 2n is just what? 14. But per what we are looking for, we need the n to be alone. So 2n over 2, 14 over 2. That means that n is going to be what? 7. 
So we can say that, therefore, the polygon has what? Seven sides. I believe this is easy to go by. All right, per what I was saying first, we know that the total fraction, as in this case, the total ratio is going to be 5 plus 2, which is what? 7. Now, let's say if I am looking for exterior angle, which corresponds to this. If I want that value, that value is going to be a 2 out of 4, 7. But if I add these two, getting this as a, uh, as a total ratio could also mean that the angle degree plus the angle degree will have given us what? 180. So it means that if I want that degree, I will have multiplied this by what? 180. Meaning 2 over 7 times 180 give me the degree of exterior angle. So here I will have 360 over 7 as in this case degree. This is the angle I am looking for. But I need the side. They said look for the side. So now we know that exterior angle which is 360 over 7 is equal to 360 over N per the formula. The angle I'm looking for is the angle we found. This is the formula for finding the exterior angle. So exterior angle equal exterior angle. So here we can cross multiply. 360N, then 7 times what? 360. I believe you can agree that we are looking for N, so we divide by what? 360, 360. This will cancel this, then your n is going to be what? 7. Just as 7 as we have here. I know you would say you prefer this. It doesn't matter. You can also use 5 over 7 times this to find the interior. Then you equate the answer to the formula for interior angle of a polygon. Then you will be there. I believe you have learned a thing or two. If you do, don't forget.